So it's been a while since I've done a video. There's a few reasons for that. The main reason is I don't have a video camera anymore. It went bye-bye. So I'm using a regular camera that shoots video and we'll see how it works out. And meanwhile, I picked up this game, Little Computer People Project, House on a Disc. So I'm gonna run through that. And before I start talking, I'm gonna start the load process because it takes a long time. So let me go like this, stick this in here, turn the Commodore on, and start the standard Commodore process. Now this is a game that's considered, probably considered a social simulation or a life simulation, and uh, everybody should be familiar with those. Uh, they're very common these days, but this game was back in 1985. And if you don't know what a life simulation game is, uh, I'm, Animal Crossing is one that just came out about a year and a half ago, and uh, another popular one was Tominachi Life. And I had a hard time finding this game on eBay. It's either very popular or very rare or both. Uh, I got into a bidding war with somebody and uh, didn't want to deal with that. So I waited and found another copy. And unfortunately it doesn't have any of the printed materials. So when I first got the game, it had a tenant in the house. Somebody had used it. So I had to download uh, a third party hack to delete the tenant. And that's what this is. So if you were to buy this back in 1985 and boot it up, this is what you would see. So house on a disc guest book, type your name, first name and last name. So I will Chaz Finster and props to anybody who can recognize that reference and the two digit year would imply that this is not Y2K compliant so we'll start with it's January 17 and it's 2015 but since the game was copyrighted in 85 why not 85 and it is 3 12 in the afternoon now the game is initializing and when it starts up it'll be an empty house and we'll have to wait for somebody to knock on the door and decide to move in. Now since I said earlier that I had a hard time finding this on eBay you might ask why not just run it in an emulator and I always mention that in my videos I like to run the original games on the original hardware as you would play it back in whatever 1985 for this one but whatever year and it would give you an idea of how you'd play back then. Now, as I said, the main, the uh, there was no printed materials. Uh, I printed out um, a copy of the manual that I found on Lemon or uh, one of those usual sus suspect places, and I'll just briefly read the introduction paragraph. As you may have read. We suspected for quite some time that there was something living inside most computers, but we didn't know who, what, or how many there were. And after years of research, hard work, and creative speculation, we invented what finally became the turning point of this arduous investigation, the house on a disk. So the premise is that your computer has little people running, uh, living inside of it. And it may sound goofy now, but you know, back in 1985, computers were still a little mysterious so we're almost ready for the house to show up and since I started this from scratch it takes him a long time to move in and settle in so what I'm gonna do is let it run for a little bit and you'll see his uh, moving in process but then I'm going to pause the video and then come back after he's completely settled in this is his living room. Uh, he's got a telephone here, his kitchen. I think the water is for the pet, a refrigerator, his computer. The clock is relatively uh, accurate. It's 315, it says 310, bathroom, bedroom. This is his den. He can play the piano. He likes to watch TV, and that is a um, 
a record player. Uh, looks like a console record player for those of you who may remember records. And a doorbell just rang, so it sounds like he's going to start moving in. Make sure the volume is up. Okay, you rang the doorbell twice. Come on in. So he's checking out the place. Going up the stairs. I've run through the moving process a few times. I, I don't know how long it lasts all told. After he's all moved in and settled in and everything, you can start talking to him. And when I mean talking to him, you would press a key on the keyboard and a text box would show up here, but I can't do anything right now. After about five or ten minutes of him going into every room, opening all the doors and opening all the drawers, he'll go outside here, pick up a box of stuff and come inside. He has a pet. Um, it's a dog. I don't know if they're always dogs or if they're sometimes cats or, or whatnot. And uh, over time, you have to play with the with him. Now, if you remember the old keychain game, the Tamagotchi, the pet, where you had to pet it and interact with it. It's the same thing, except it's 15 years before the Tamagotchi. And over time, if you don't interact with him, he gets sick, and I guess he'll, he'll eventually die. I don't know what happens if and when he dies, if it ruins the disc, or if you erase the disc, or if you can start over again. Um, there's no built-in way to start over again. I have to find a program to start over again. It was called LCP Evictor little computer people evictor and it just deleted the files that were associated with the tenant so he's just walking around checking everything out and I think at this point in time what I'm gonna do is pause the video and just let the game run and then come back later on after he's all settled in and you yeah, see he's shaking his head so he seems like he's happy now later on I'll come back and we'll see what he's doing okay I'll be back in a bit so it's been about 45 minutes it's actually four o'clock right now but the, that clock says five minutes to four He's all moved in. His dog has moved in. He started a fire. He just turned on the TV. And he's going to leave it playing. And it looks like, you probably can't tell, the record player is also spinning. And he's happy. Look at the shit-eating grin on his face there. Uh, before I started the video, I did a few things with him. I played a few games to make him happy. So, this is pretty much it. Uh, you can do a couple of things with him. You can make the phone ring. You, you can't hear him talking with the TV on. And while he's... I'm going to say, please turn off the television. And we'll see if he does it. I guess he's not going to turn off the TV. Or maybe that was the record player that was making all that noise. Let's have him play the piano. Please play the piano. Let's see if he comes out. He went into the closet for some reason. He's shaking his head saying, okay. Well, I guess... He turned off the record player.
let's play a game. What games can we play? Card War, Anagrams, or Poker? Let's try Poker. He'll grab the card set. Sit at the kitchen table. This is my game field up here, anti up to play. I'm gonna bet. Uh, I thought I pressed F1. Bet. Enter. Draw a card. takes four. Pass. I don't know, I guess I won. Don't really know how to play poker. Don't really care. I quit the poker game. And I'm gonna do uh, control P. That means to pet him. And if it queues up like it did before, he should sit in the chair. Petting him makes him happy. So let's see what happens. coming out, patting him on the back of the head. He's all happy. So that's pretty much it. Uh, there's a few other things you can do and it's more of eye candy than anything else. You just let it run and play with them um, and see what happens. So I'm gonna end this video now because it's probably gotten a lot longer than I intended but this is a little computer people project house on a disc. This is for the Commodore 64. There are other versions. There's an Amiga version. I'm pretty sure there's an Atari ST version and there's actually a uh, Nintendo Famicom version. Um, you can find those on eBay. Uh, for some reason the Amiga version is listed for like a 900 million dollars and I'm exaggerating but some ridiculously high number. Um, there are some sold out of the UK. But anyways, uh, I'm going to let this go, and thanks for watching.